So I, th I think you guys all know how this whole thing started, right? I mean, four years ago, um, one of our sales GMs came to us, uh, Aaron Young, and, and said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could tell the customer how much his trailer weighed as he was loading it, right? We know we give the customer certain information today uh, that, uh, uh, that he can use, but he has to go and weigh that trailer at a uh, gravel pit or a grain scale, uh, and it's not easy and it's not convenient. And so the idea of being able to tell the customer how much his trailer weighs while he's in his driveway loading it was a terrific idea, I think, and really the culmination of everything that we've done over these last four years. So really a lot of these small towns don't even have grain scales like they used to. Um, so we're solving a huge problem because just finding scales is really tough these days. Gravel pits aren't in every small town like they used to be. And think about how difficult it is to actually take it to a grain scale and weigh it. I mean, think about the process it takes. Lots of unhooking, reweighing, weigh just the truck, weigh just the pin, weigh all the axles. Mm -hmm. It's a process. So Dave, uh, we brought you guys in a couple of years after the project got started. I mean, what did you feel when you first got introduced to the project? I was intrigued. I thought that the market that's long overdue weight is a major issue. Um, I was encouraged that you look to Moride to do that. I was, we were honored by that fact, actually. So once you presented the nature of the problem, um, took a look at some computer modeling and some finite element analysis and found the high stress areas on that skid pad, and it was just forward to where the kingpin projects out, and it made sense to plan a gauge there and see what kind of a reading we could get and see how that we could correlate that to actual load. Thanks, Dave. So Sam, as uh, Dexter Axel and somebody who's been in this project from the very beginning, I mean, what, when we first brought that idea to you, what did you think? We were excited. Uh, I was excited to be on a, a, a new, I guess, outside the box idea other than um, something normally we work on with trailer axles and, and brakes. Um, but uh, I was excited to look forward to the project. And as, you know, four plus years of being on the project, it was a lot of uh, trial and error, but we eventually um, got there and it was very satisfying to uh, accomplish such, such a thing. Yeah, I would agree. I, I mean, I think, you know, the evolution of how we started uh, and w what we thought we might want to do and what we ended up with. I mean, it was a long period of time. We, we talked about not having hitches as part of it. You know, we were going to have landing gear yeah. and then we realized that that wasn't going to work very well and we needed to find a different way and we wanted to include hitch. I mean, there was a lot of steps through all that. Yep. So Jerry, so collaboration then. I mean, we obviously had several suppliers involved uh, to make what we've got today happen. I mean, what did you feel personally as being a part of this whole collaboration? Uh, just a great team effort. Everybody really did um, above and beyond to make sure that they're part of this project. Uh, came through at the end. Uh, like Sam said before, we had some bumps in the road as you do with every project, but we all worked through them. And the end result, I think we're all extremely happy and proud of it. Yeah, I would agree with you. I mean, I think, you know, uh, part of the process for us was pulling together companies that we respected and that we wanted to partner with mm -hmm. to make this thing. And uh, obviously the in-command uh, project you know was a natural to lead us into having you guys work with us on this one too and uh, I really think it worked out well. Yeah um, you know a lot of what uh, we collaborated with you and John on was the user interface the, the part that people actually will touch right. and see and that has a lot to do with the usability and, and the uh, uh, you know the functionality of the product. Yeah I agree. So Mark uh, Dexter Axel obviously somebody who's been in this project from the very beginning and you've seen what's been created. I mean, what do you think about the scope of what we've done? Uh, when we were faced, you know, with, with the opportunity, it was, I mean, it was, it was great. I mean, it fits with our product line. It's, it's exactly right, really just down our alley. We have so many customers and so many end users that just have just a true lack of knowledge of what they're putting in their coach. So we, we, get, we tend to get the other side of the call, the, the call of negativity because they, they feel like we failed them because of the products that, you know, that, as they're being loaded. So for us, you know, it was the opportunity to finally inform customers on what they're putting in their coach and being able to give them the information so that, you know, they're either not making that call or if they know that or if they are, they know why. So to me, it was, it was, it's really fulfilling. It's also one that we, where we know that the, uh, 
you know, being able to the magnitude of the project and, be able, and where it can go in the future. Yeah. Well, we, we know as, a, as the, one of the, the first supplier that came on, on the project with us that, uh, I mean, we didn't really know what we were going to be able to do when we started with this whole thing. But to be at the point where we're at today, where we're sitting here with a fully functioning trailer behind us, something that's new that's never been done in this industry before, I mean, I'm very proud of what we've created. And I know the rest of our team here is too. Uh, and it's been a pleasure to work with all of you, all of you, but especially uh, Dexter, who was first. Appreciate that. So Jerry, what I really like about this user interface that we've got here is just how simple it is and how easy it is to understand what we're doing. Like you can look at this right now and, and you see all this green here and that tells you right away that everything is good or seemingly would be good, right? You know that your axle weight, we've got it listed here, 13.4, we know what the hitch weight is. Um, and then obviously we've got a little equation down here at the bottom that tells the customer whether his overall weight is correct, right? So here's the predetermined GVWR that Keystone provides, right? And then this is the actual weight on the trailer and the fact that we've got over 2,000 pounds of cargo right now, um, you know, is very simple. And then well, what are these little bubbles here? So what we did is, you know, again, in the effort of making this as simplistic and informative as possible, and you don't have to break out an owner's manual to use it, we actually included in information bubbles that describe what each of these uh, pieces of information actually are and what they do. So we have your hitch weight here, and we give you actually the range, the acceptable range that you're supposed to be in, um, and then obviously total weight and available cargo weight. So each one of these, without having an owner's manual, you can very qu clearly understand. Yeah, I would agree. Like in this particular case, a lot of times people, customers don't understand what a GBWR is, right? They, they don't know what that acronym stands for, right? But that's basically, we tell the customer here that that's the maximum safe weight that he can load onto his trailer without getting into trouble, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, I think these little information bubbles that we added in there really help to explain what's going on for mm -hmm. the for, uh, for the system. So from the same single uh, home page here, we also include instructions uh, that explain to the end user how to accurately uh, obtain the weights that the system provides. Uh, so we, uh, we say that it must be hitched to the, uh, to the truck, it must be on level ground, and we also uh, recommend that they roll the trailer back and forth um, so that we relieve any stresses on the axles. So Jerry, let's say that there's some sort of a problem, right? And you've got an issue with your trailer. I mean, what would you do if that was the case? So uh, here we have the support icon, which brings up uh, the, all of the four companies that, uh, that have components in the system. And depending on what the problem is, you could contact any of these uh, companies, Dexter for the axles, uh, Moride for the, uh, for the pin box, ASA for the electronics uh, portion of it. Uh, or for uh, Keystone for the yep. uh, for the RV. Yep. Yeah, and if you didn't know which one it was that particular where your problem lies, you could always start with Keystone, Keystone. and it could go from there. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So yeah, so that that works great.